Uh, yeah, this is a 13 years old boy uh, with uh, was detected to have a cardiac murmur when he was evaluated and found to have a moderate size PSD uh, PDA uh, one month back. Sorry, uh, on examination uh, he's he's asymptomatic actually. The but the on examination his weight is 37.1 kg, pulse is 70 per minute regular, JVP not related, saturating 99 percent, apex is in left fifth intercostal space at mid clavicular line. Grade three by six systolic murmur in the left upper uh, left upper channel border, and uh, uh, X-ray is showing the situs solitus leukocardia cardiothoracic ratio of uh, 50 uh, 55 percent, mild uh, increase in the pulmonary vascularity with left arch, and uh, uh, ECG showing sinus rhythm QRS axis of plus 60 normal LV forces PR interval is 120 millisecond. Uh, echocardiography apical four chamber showing uh, LA -LV, mild LA LV dilatation. Uh, with the uh, ductal view showing uh, the moderate size PDA shunting left to right. With the uh, major, it was measuring around 3.5 mm. The gradient across the uh, PDA was the peak gradient of 82 by 30. So the impression is 3.5 mm PDA shunting left to right with the peak gradient of 82, mildly dilated LALV with good bioventricular systolic function. Plan is PDA device closure. Okay, so what have we done so Hello. far, Dr. Kalyan? Yeah, yeah. Can you ah, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. So I just uh, you saw the patient's uh, details. So so we have already uh, just uh, um, before you started, we just did the uh, angiogram. So we are going to show the angiogram and the measurement. Yeah, so, uh, sorry for some poor quality uh, angio. Uh, see, this uh, angiogram wise, the measurement comes on the uh, pulmonary end about 3.8. Of course, uh, roomy uh, ampulla. So, uh, what, what do you think? What is your uh, size of the device? What type of device you would like to de deploy this here? Bharat has a comment. Kalyan, I have a question Bharat for you. A comment. What size of catheter, what amount of contrast, and at what rate? Why the yeah. quality of This is the uh, four French catheter. Yeah, so somebody who is. Yeah, this is four French catheter. But why four French? Why not five French? So why four French? 13 year old. You can even use a six. Yeah, uh, uh, good. Yeah, good question. Yeah, good question. But, uh, sir. In five French uh, pigtail, in the end goal and uh, side goals are far apart. If you inject, probably end end goal will be will be little above the PDA and side will be little below the PDA. So it's difficult to focus. That is why small children probably I used to take uh, four French uh, pigtail because the end goal and uh, side goals are very close. See, I don't mind you using a four French, but I don't think that we have been able to define the anatomy well. And at least it is my principle that before you talk about the size and the type of device, you should be able to define the anatomy precisely. It's a simple procedure, but you can get into serious problems if you haven't defined the anatomy. What are your comments on this? Yeah, I agree. I think the house would probably recommend that uh, we should probably repeat an angiogram uh, with a more call it more die and. I would definitely repeat an angiogram with a five French pigtail catheter. If the weight of the, I don't know what is the weight of. Thirty-seven the kilograms. How much? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Yeah. I would use a twenty-five or even thirty ml. Give at a very high rate. Yeah. At a thousand psi. Yeah. 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 We we used of course eighteen ml uh, eighteen flow. Of course, 700 psi here, but uh, probably it's uh, not. And uh, they, we here they are using VC pack. Probably VC pack one of the one is less uh, opacification, and uh, another uh, reason for the uh, poor quality uh, angio here. Anyhow, if you are uh, in the study, I'll go back so and do, do an angio with uh, five French pigtail. Can yeah. I make a comment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go for it. The anatomy is fairly clear by echo. And the only purpose of doing an angiogram yes. is for landmarks to deploy the device in case you are doing a fluoroscopic dissection. Otherwise, for anatomy purpose, there is no need for a repeat angiogram. 
Yeah, if you do an angiogram, the whole I purpose of the angiogram Krishna has Mati. to be served. Yeah. You have to see the anatomy of the duct, otherwise you don't need to do an angiogram at all. No, no, but for the uh, land, as I said, as Dr. Krishnamurti said, uh, for the purpose of uh, deploying it, we need a landmark. So since uh, it is an uh, angiogram-based uh, device closure, not the uh, uh, echocardiogram-based angiogram, I mean, uh, device clo closure, I thought uh, at least landmark is enough because I've already seen the echo, which is uh, enough for the uh, choosing the size of the device. Okay, so what are you going to do, Dr. Kalyan? Yeah, but I measured even echo wise 3.5 and here around 3.8, probably um, thinking of 8 by 6, ADO 1. And your echocardiographic measurement was three millimeters, the narrowest point where it was meeting the... 3.3. 3.3 at the, at the, the pulmonary 3 artery. 3.3, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shall we take a vote from the audience in terms so of uh, how many would want a repeat yeah, angiogram yeah, yeah, and how many would be happy with what the echo findings were in this current angiogram? So people who would repeat angiogram, please put your hands up now. Four, five, six and people who would be uh, happy to go with whatever information you've got now. I think Dr. Kalyan, surprisingly, there are many people in the audience who are supporting you, and uh, so they say you don't need to repeat an angiogram. <laughs> okay. okay, thanks. So probably I think with that we are going. So we can show the device. Yeah, next. So we already crossed the PDA. Yeah. Yeah, next. Next. Yeah, next. Next. Yeah. Is it, is it skinny or so? Skinny. Okay. So this is where, this is a uh, portion now. Right now we are. We just get the race across. This is a seven French uh, Mullan sheet. <coughs> so we are planning to so go with the we are eight, six, plan is it? to. Yeah. This is uh, what we are uh, taking by uh, Aclutech. Okay. Is uh, that based on the uh, what's available what on the shelf? Yeah, yeah, exactly. If we have no, it is available other device also. We like to go for uh, Aclutec. So we can see the Aclutec little different from a other uh, regular radio one like Life Tech or uh, Amplitude. You can see that. Can you see the focus? Yeah, we can He's see showing. it. He's showing. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the. It's a reverse coning. Yeah. 8 by 6 means 6 is close to the uh, iot uh, aortic side and uh, eight, uh, 8 is uh, on the PS end. Mm. So what the ca company claims, this uh, decrease the chance of uh, mobility uh, uh, or uh, instability of the device. Okay? Yeah. So any doubt in that? Uh, it's okay the size of the device which you have taken. It is questionable. I agree with Bharat because Bharat is also saying that the comment made by the company about the retain, uh, not the PA end being uh, able to hold the duct properly is questionable. Yeah, I think this wo device was created more for some of the uh, length issues rather than actually uh, the true uh, anatomy of the duct for the PA end. The, the longer length devices has got its use, but I'm not sure the short length devices are any different from the ADO. Also for off this length is 6 mm. Yeah. But I doubt that that reverse uh, sizing has made any significant Coding. difference. Because with ADO 1, stability was barely an issue if you chose the correct Madam size sir. of the device. I'm not able to hear somebody tell me. Yeah, I, agree. I agree with Dr. Bharat because uh, they are claiming I have not used much these devices. And when I used this device, I was very disappointed that why did they make the screw cable rather than the ASD cable, which is a, like a ball and socket, which is much nicer. Yeah. Because then you won't have that much recoil on the device like we then see with the amplitude. Yeah. So, so we are decided to go, go with the eight by six. Yeah.
I'm going to ask a very uh, what do you call it? Probably a lot of people in the audience might think about it. How many people would put a coil in this situation? How many people would put a coil in this situation? I can see one hand. I can see one hand. Would you care to make some comment, ma'am? Would, would you come, come to the to microphone, comment, please? Would you come to the microphone, please? Uh, one of the advantages of a coil would definitely uh, be the cost. The of the coil would definitely be the cost. Especially if you have a cable, then it's as safe Especially as putting a device. Cable, then it's as and as if you are uh, trying to close a PDA uh, where there's a small ductile shelf, PDA then it's an extra added advantage that you will not compromise the iota by the retention screen. The and there is good, uh, the ampulla also seems to be and decent in size to be able to stack some coils yeah, there. What, what yeah, size coil will you go for? This since it's measuring around 3, 3.5, a 6.5 into 5 coil would be good enough. Or even a 5 by 5 coil. Thank you. I bet you differ because pressure still differ at least 2 pi. The cost of a biop pump plus 2 pi is not much different from it. Not much different from it. So you don't have the detachable coil here, which comes on a screw. The cook hundred scale. Is it? Okay. Are they? Are they? So we have deployed the device. So shape appears to be so okay. Echo. You want to show echo bush? At the bottom, this one, sir. This one. This one. Ah, that one is Sini. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Contrast. So we'll give contrast. Yeah. I think one of the other things that you so notice with the Oplutech device is you don't see immediate uh, uh, occlusion of the shunt. There is still a lot of flow through the device, which you notice more in Oplutech compared to the Amplutech. Okay. So uh, how many of you wait for... Uh, 10 minutes for occlusion, then go over, go for the angiogram. Is that your standard practice? Do you wait for 10 minutes, is it? Is that your standard practice? Do you wait for 10 minutes? Yeah, I, I always wait for 10 minutes. Yeah, I, I always wait for 10 minutes. Okay. Is, is there any scientific any evidence, evidence for the that waiting period, waiting period of 10 minutes? Yeah, I have initially uh, immediately uh, did angiogram, then waiting for t 5 to 10 minutes, complete occlusion uh, observed. Maybe it was cosmetic, but at least we show to the patient that it is a completely occluded. Otherwise, uh, they point out there is some uh, residual shunt. What's your panel's uh, decision on that? So everybody in the audience, whosoever uses this device, so do they wait the for 10 minutes to do uh, an angiogram? Not How many all? of you? Not at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree. <laughs> we can do a echo and finish it up. That's not an issue. But here, we are already in the patient's cath lab. We did um, angiogram. So, so, I think these are uh, probably non, non medical so issues which dictate uh, the non, non medical some of the decisions. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So how many of you agree uh, with me that uh, wait for 10 minutes to do angio? A lot of people in the lot of people in okay, So one comment Hello? is the small PDA, you don't need to wait, and large PDA, you need to wait. That is one comment comes from the audience. Any more comments? One comment comes from the audience. Any more comments? Yeah, we can go for lecture while we're waiting. Yeah, we can go for lecture. This reminds me of my EP okay. colleagues you know, who do the ablation and wait for 15 EP minutes or something to see whether tachycardia returns. No, no, no. The, no, we have, we observed no, because no, no, no. if you see, you can see that if the complete occlusion and if you uh, take a hundred patients, definitely about 30, 40 percent of people uh, immediate occlusion wasn't there. And maybe that's for the show to the patients attended that is completely occluded. That's uh, another. Uh, uh, can you not show that on the echocardiogram? Can you not show that on the echocardiogram? I don't have the patience to wait that Yeah, long. we can so do it. I, do while I, do, I don't, I don't, I don't, do to, I, I don't take the echo machine there. No, See, I, I don't I take I the echo machine to cath lab for PDA device, device closure. Deploy the device, hmm. do an immediate angiogram. As long as my position of the device is good, I release it. And I have counseled the families that most
most of the shines no. will have some foaming at the end of the procedure. When you come for the follow-up four to six weeks later, we'll show you that there will be no shine. So that solves the problem. That they are also well aware that this is what is going to be the end result. Yeah. Okay. Any other five minutes, sir? Yeah. Any? Yeah. I'm going to do an angio. Okay. We're doing angio now, or we can go for the lecture Contest. otherwise. Yeah. 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 No. No. We are going to do angio. Yeah. Okay. Do angio now. Oh, no. good. It's gone. The shunt is gone. <laughs> you want to show by echo? Yeah. Yes. Any other echo machines here? We would like to show the echo also here. Oh, yeah. How many of you uh, use the echo at, uh, I mean, uh, echo and angio in the cath lab for the query closure? Only if in small babies. I scan, I scan, I scan. Is everybody using echo in the cath lab no, after no, every okay. PDA closure? No, actually use only echo. No. <laughs> <Def Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> only echo, okay. <laughs> you are different. You are a pan of India. Huh? Agree. Where I don't India. take artery yeah. line at all for most of the PDS, <laughs> unless it is an adult. Yeah, for yeah, most yeah. of the PDS, I don't take artery yeah, yeah. line. Echo machine yeah. is a must for me to do the video. And see, we are going to follow by echo, not by angiogram. Angiogram yeah. always shows residual flow, whereas echo will show if there is color flow or not. It depends on the, as Sarah said, if it is properly sitting, it's going to close anyway. The mm. presence of residual flow doesn't matter, but it has to properly sit, it has to have a waste. It has to take along the course of the or the wall border or whatever. So if you echo is, I am happy to release and come. We don't take artery line unless it is really a bigger mm -hmm. child where I am not very comfortable about the echo images. Sure. Yeah, I agree, Kannan. I think there are uh, different group of people. They are comfortable with the angio, and there are people. I mean, uh, arterial arterial angio. There are some group of people. They are happy with the venous angio. I think um, I always take uh, uh, artery plus venous. That's what uh, Go on, I follow. Yeah, yeah, That's okay. Uh, and yeah, we are going to, yeah, we are going to list it up. Yeah, we are going to list it up. Okay. there's a large uh, yeah, yeah. ampla like this, I usually go for a bigger device to cover the entire ampla, irrespective of whatever the size of A and the reasons are, is covering the ampla prevents thrombus from the yeah. Uh, not in a high pressure circuit. No. Sorry? It's aortic high pressure circuit. That should I be think arterial side. There's, there's a lot of evidence saying that when you have an ampulla, they do go and close it off. I usually take a big device there and close it. That's what I usually do. Big ampulla is all that. But where is, this, where is the PA side? If you take a bigger size, uh, PDA, PDA will not, PDA end will not uh, accommodate. <laughs> okay? Uh, exactly. Just reassure him, sister. Uh, tell him that it's over. Yeah. Reassure him. Sedate him, sedate him. Sure. Uh, okay. Let, let him speak, yeah. let him speak, please. No, let Sorry, Madhu. Okay, okay. okay. not going to embolize. I'm not saying this is going to embolize. I'm, I'm not at all suggesting that. When you are there, you putting a larger device here, it's not going to compromise anything for the child. At least cover the ample. That's what I mean. Epi, epi, uh, debatable. <laughs> I think, uh, no, it's the artery side, I don't think uh, uh, there'll be a formation of any thrombus, even the big uh, uh, ampulla. I don't think. Opinion. Anybody I agree with that? I have a different opinion. The larger device you use, it will I'll just, I'll flush that. deform the yeah. aortic heart and it can even produce aortic resuscitation. So the smaller the device, always the better. This is reverse sizing. So A okay. the Pigtail I'm taking. The size, but uh, Why is this? Once we look at right. the PDA closure, the shaft is dense. If it is accurately positioned, shaft is dense. That denting suggests that so device will not likely to embolize. So here there may be a false impression that device might get, means uh, that device what? is indented, because it is naturally indented. So how will you know that it's really indented or not? That's the issue. Uh, 
एक पॉइंट सेवन एक पॉइंट Looks like they have released the device and the patient has woken up. <laughs> yeah. So any. So is there anything okay, else to I show? Okay. I think we have uh, completed. We released it. Nothing. I think uh, anything for your side, you can just uh, you can discuss that. So otherwise, we can uh, close the session here. So, th thank you very much, Dr. Kalyan. It was fantastic. Okay. Yes. Okay. Doctor, uh, yeah, thank, 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 th